Here's another power washer I'm using. This one's a 2200 PSI. And a Briggs and Strat engine. Like this. This one runs alright. Doesn't really want to run very good when I let go off the wand. It seems to sputter a little bit. It started okay. Small gas tank for a power washer engine. I guess I'll just start it up. I'm taking a break right now. I gotta move that stuff and continue power washing. Look at the difference. It's both the same type of cement. One on the side is like black on most of the suits. Just power washed. As you can see. Yeah, oh, one more thing. This engine is not secure on this little cart right here. These bolts are loose. The engine slides on its. You can see that. This whole engine moves. Alright, you can see that. So, I don't have my tools on me here, but that definitely needs to be tightened up. You could start ruining the cart doing that. So, I'll see if I can start it up. It's under pressure right now, so it's not going to want to. And if you had that problem on one of these machines, here's a ProForce 2300 PSI with a 6.75 horsepower Briggs Quantum engine. It's a similar design. Um, you would do the same thing. You just tighten up these bolts here on the side. I know these are loose. This is I already have this apart. But if it was going something like this, you definitely want to tighten that. That's what the other machine was doing. So, this requires a half inch nut and a bolt. On the other machine, I'm not sure what it was, it might have been a half inch, but the bolt had an Allen wrench fitting. But this machine here, this is the one with the blown connecting rod. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Or it just, just spins freely. Yeah, I'll be taking this apart eventually. Probably do a carb cleaning video on that, maybe. This is the one with the separate gas tank, so it's a little it's more basic than the other ones. But yeah, same thing applies. I mean, I don't think it's good to have vibration like that. Eventually you're going to wear out something, so I would fix that right away.